Hey guys, I'm Katie, or KB Does Art, and um, today we're going to be attempting to make a picture frame. So um, go ahead and open up a new scene, and then let's make a sphere. So I'm going to make this sphere pretty tall, maybe like 4, and then let's make that depth 0.5, and then make that width maybe 3. Let's go ahead and move Y to 2. That way it's on the ground. And then let's give it some division. So I'm gonna do six by eight by one. All right, so first thing we're going to be doing is just selecting these faces in the center on this side, and then select the faces on the other side as well, all on the inside. And then we're going to be extruding them. Oh, make sure you didn't get these guys. We're going to be extruding them and then um, pushing them into the mesh. So first things first is you want to go into wireframe mode so that you can see if they are going to run into each other. So extrude, and then you're gonna do negative thickness. So hold control and push it in. I'm gonna go in point, negative 0.15. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually slant this picture frame since picture frames usually are on, you know, an angle. So maybe just go at a very slight angle just so that this is still touching the ground, um, but so that we can prop it up on the other side. So select these two faces, extrude and offset them in probably about 0.05 and then click extrude, then W. And we're going to be bringing these guys out and pressing them down and then press E and rotate them so that the faces become perpendicular to the ground. And then you can just drag that guy down. Um, what I'm also going to be doing is moving it over like that. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, you can shrink that guy down too if you want to. And then let's see. The next thing we could do is add some of those little um, pins on the back that they have for, um, you know, putting the thing incorrectly, the, the picture in the back. So for that, all you need to do is go ahead and make a spear. We're going to scale it down a whole bunch. And then you're going to actually take some of the top faces and then press W and move them up so it looks like that. All right, so now take this object and it's going to be one of those little tabs that fold over over the picture. So go ahead and try and place it as best as you can into the position where it would be on a frame. Definitely needs to be smaller, probably about that size. And then go ahead and push it into the mesh, move it up so that it clips this frame as well. And then you can rotate it however you want so that it's a bit more even, like that. And then go ahead and drag it up until it clips through there. And then you can also scale it to be a bit longer if you want it to be a little more like that. Um, but then you can go ahead and duplicate that and press it down here. And then we're going to be pushing it into this border next. Click E and rotate that guy. And then you can move it down a bit more to be a bit more even on that frame. And then just clip it into that mesh. And then clip it into the side as well. And then you can duplicate and just push it on over to this side. And then duplicate that top one and press it down. And press it into the mesh. More like that. All right, so now I've got some little details on our picture frame. So um, that basically concludes this guy. I know it's a really simple mesh. Um, that's because it's a really simple object, which is why I kind of chose it this week. <laughs> so um, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. And um, if you guys have any questions, I'm here to answer them. Obviously, I don't know all the answers, but I try and help out as best I can. And I'll see you guys next time for when we are designing some uh, cooler objects. So I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.